of the following sets of numbers can describe a 3p electron. There are four quantum numbers that describe an electron. These are n, l, ml, and ms. Here, ms is not given to us, so we don't really have to care about this quantum number, so we can leave it alone. Now, let's go ahead and go over some rules for n, l, and ml quantum numbers, and also see how 3p, what kind of quantum numbers a 3p electron would have. So for n, the rules are that it can be any integer, 1, 2, 3, and so on, as long as it's an integer, it is good to go. L depends on n, so n can go from 0 to n minus 1. For example, if my n is equal to 3, my L could, go, could be either 0 or it could be 1 or it could be two. These are all of the possibilities for my L. So L always goes from zero to N minus one. These are the possible values of N, L, sorry, zero to N minus one. The third quantum number is ML, and ML depends on L. It goes from minus L to zero to plus L. So for example, if my L is equal to 2, my all of the possible numbers for ML will be from minus 2 through 0 through plus 2. So minus 2, minus 1, 0, plus 1, and plus 2. These are all of the rules for our quantum numbers. Now, another thing I have to teach you is that even though L has numbers, it also has letters. Um, that are connected to the numbers. So when L is equal to zero, it's represented by the letter S. One is P, two is D, and three is F. So let's go ahead and look at this 3P electron here. The first number here is the N number. So if it says 3P, that means my N number is equal to three. I can eliminate wherever I see my N number is not equal to three because that is wrong. The second number, it's actually a letter, and we know the letter is for the L value. So if I have P, I see that my L value must be equal to one. So that means here L must be equal to one. So we can eliminate, actually we can, we can, we can already derive the correct answer because we can see that L is equal to one so it can't be zero and it can't be two. So automatically we, we already arrived at the correct answer that it's C. However, let's check, our M, let's check our ML. So if my L is equal to one, what could my ML be? What are the possible values of ML? Well, the rule is again that it goes from minus L through zero to plus L. So it will go from minus one to zero to plus one. Those are all of my possible values for ML. And here my ML is equal to one. So that works. So therefore C in this case is the correct answer. This is Maya from Transformation Tutoring. I really hope that you enjoyed my video. Let me know in the comments. Please subscribe and I look forward to seeing you in more of my general chemistry and organic chemistry videos.